I wanted to just give you a real quick um, overview of the lesson plan. So if you go to assignments and you go to where it says reading and writing lesson plans and click on you can see this is actually a content folder so it gives you a little bit more information. Uh, there are some things in here. Um, open up the reading and writing lesson plan and that is actually going to give you kind of the description and the rubric for that so I'm just gonna I'm gonna open it up but I'm going to uh, kind of put it away for a minute because I also want you to pull up the exemplar that I have because you should kind of look at these two things side by side uh, so well, we'll wait for the example. Oh, there's the exemplar. So before I go to the exemplar, let me just walk you through kind of the um, lesson plan expectation. And this is something that you will, um, is the same for reading and writing. So basically, the students will work with your field study teacher. You're really not doing this. Um, you're actually just kind of planning something on your own to teach an appropriate reading lesson for this one that's based on standards and reflective of developmental levels of the class. So I want you to try to pick a level, maybe I'd like it to be kind of the level you're observing, um, but it doesn't have to be, especially if you're not in the K-3. I really want you to somehow incorporate some technology and I want you to demonstrate uh, effective literacy strategies or instructional strategies. So basically, the students will plan a lesson that could be taught at the grade level where you're observing the lesson will need to be tied to the Common Core State Standards as well as a literacy skill or strategy that's age appropriate. So, so far we've been focused on some appropriate literacy strategies for this age. Um, let me go to course content here. Um, I, would, I would kind of focus early in emergent literacy or more kind of topics, um, but phonics and decoding or vocabulary and fluency are two categories that would be excellent to develop a lesson around. Um, and I would actually encourage you to either write a phonics or decoding lesson or a vocabulary and fluency lesson, especially since you'll be writing a comprehension unit for your um, 582 class. So try to pick something within one of these two topics. Let me go back. Um, do, 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 do. It says right here the lesson will need to be shared with your teacher. Don't worry about that because you're not going to be actually teaching the lesson. Unless you are going to be teaching the lesson. If you can arrange it, that's even better. Uh, that's a more authentic uh, experience. But that certainly is not an expectation, especially so quickly in this class. Um, so, skip through the standards part. Um, and let's just kind of look, look right here at what I'm expecting of you. I'm expecting that you have a lesson plan draft that's completed with all the parts, and I'll show you the lesson plan draft. Specifically, the lesson plan draft is going to have what's called the where I'm going section, a how will I get there section, and a how will I know if I got there section. So let me show you what that means. Um, I think the best way to do this is to just kind of cut and paste right into this lesson plan format. So I put this in a Word document so you can just kind of cut and paste your idea right into it. So you can see here's the where I'm going part, here's the how I will get there, and here's the how I, I know when my students have arrived. So really I want to make sure you can kind of think through those three categories. So that's kind of where the first uh, three criteria is for. Um, I want to make sure you address differentiation and uh, let's hold off on that reflection. I think what I'm going to do is because you don't have real, unless, if you actually teach this, um, then reflect on how it went. But if you don't teach this, which I'm guessing many of you won't, I'm going to actually give you kind of a sample student and then I'm going to ask you to write a reflection based on that. So you're going to submit your lesson to me without the reflection. You're just going to submit this top part. So what does this lesson look like? Um, we're going to go over this in class in 582, um, but basically, kind of what grade are you targeting? What's your, what's your big question? So in here, it's how do we learn about key details? How is this objective tied to the uh, standards? And here's your objectives. Student will demonstrate, students demonstrate that they can pull key details from a text. We'll talk about today how important or when we meet how important it is that your lesson objectives are measurable and are in student language. 
I want you to think through the assessment, what formative assessment and what summative assessment are you going to use. How will I get there? It's kind of your materials. How are you going to hook students? And this might be a really good place for uh, technology. You can see in this one, I, I did a, my topic or my objective was that they're going to be able to pull key details from a text. Formatively, um, I'm going to observe through the activities and they have a worksheet. And summatively, they're going to actually do a, what's called a closed passage on penguins. And a closed passage is basically um, some sentences with missing words and they have to fill out the, fill in the missing words based on their understanding. So my materials are all copies of Penguin books. I have a short video to get them excited about penguins, and that might be a good place for technology. And then I really want you to think through the I do, we do, you do model of instruction. And again, we'll talk about this in 582. It's called gradual release. And you've read about this in your step, uh, Harvey and Good This book. So my I do is in guided reading groups, the teacher will model how to read for key de details. Here's another technology um, app, you know, uh, connection is that you could always use, even use a smart board to take notes. The we do, so you're doing it, you're modeling is the idea. The we do is in guided reading groups, the teacher will ask the students to read together and take notes on key ideas. So that's kind of what you are doing with, you're doing it together. And the you do, is that now each student will go off on their own and continue to read and take notes. So we'll talk more about this progression, but I really am going to be looking for that in your lesson plans. How do I know when my students have arrived? The teacher will engage in formative assessment, so I'm going to be kind of making observations. I'm going to collect a key idea worksheet that they're doing through this I do, we do, you do. And then summative assessment. And the summative, after they've done that, I'll give them this closed passage on penguins. And I'll show you copies of that. I can pull those up. How am I going to differentiate? I'm going to differentiate based on content. So maybe different guided reading groups have different books about penguins at different levels. I might differentiate based on process. So maybe the teacher may model longer. So maybe I'll have a longer I do for some groups or a longer we do, or maybe I'll partner kids up through the guided reading. And product, I might differentiate the levels of the closed passages. And here's a place for any additional considerations. So any, maybe I might need to pre-teach certain words. I might need to be considerate of any IP. So that's kind of like your any other things you need to think about through that lesson. Let me just pull up just so you can see a couple of, um, let's see if I can easily, if I can easily pull it up, I'll show you. Um, some of those materials that I reference, I think. Oh, here we go. So remember I said um, I would def what close is and I could differentiate. So for example, this is a closed passage about penguins, and you can see penguins can live at the blank blank. They are birds, but they cannot blank. And you can see I've given them a word bank, so they can look up here and then fill out the words. That's a high level of support. Where, here's another closed passage that doesn't have the word, word bank. Instead, it has um, some choices for each one. So this is actually a higher level of support. And then I might also have a closed passage, and I'm not sure I have one here, but that would have um, about penguins, it might have the same thing, but without the choices. And that would be for your highest level of students. So you can see, you can differentiate, this is called differentiating the product. Um, what they have to do at the end can look different, um, but it's the same idea. I'm looking, can students pull key ideas? I don't know if I have my note taking. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to pull that out that quickly. So again, this is the exact same lesson plan that we'll be going through in 582. So I just wanted to share and give you a little bit of um, guidance on that.